Professor Knox, I ain't tripping, but I drop knowledge on you. Scholarship is sinking on my peers and Titanic. Stop them harboring the top phonics. I'm the illest mom. So hop sit to me. I'm intimate with penmanship. Like intuits, my intuition's cold. My aurora's book read callous, go read malice. Callous leave for a cut you like them trees in the Amazon. I'm in my prime, I put you in a pond. Heating up like glaciers melting in the Arctic. Come on. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free peace sign. What's going on YouTube? It's Noxil, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, today is Friday. You know what that means. We are back with more ERB. Now you guys know I read the comments, the good, the bad, the ugly, the troll, and this is definitely one of the next highest requested ERBs, the battle of of the pacifists. I'm talking about Gandhi. I'm talking about Dr. Martin Luther King. But before we go any further, guys, I read a stat that 70% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Do me a favor, watch this video. If you like it, support the channel directly. Help us get bumped up in the algorithm. Subscribe and notifications on. But anyways, anyways, we know what we're here for. Dr. King, Gandhi, step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. That's Key and Peel. They're on ERB. I don't know what's happening with my life anymore. Let's go! <laughs> Key coming through with the humor already. Nodding his head. Doing the hand movements. Let's go. You want to battle with see who's a better pacifist? I fought the caste system, but you still cannot touch this slum. <laughs> I love how Key's coming through with the Indian accent as he raps, you know, trying to embody and reincarnate Gandhi on this one. See who's the better pacifist and see how he holds up the peace sign. But the best line so far is playing off of the caste system because Gandhi, who was a pacifist, who used nonviolent protesting, hunger strikes, all kinds of different ways to essentially change the system of his country and not only got rid of British rule and fought for Indian independence, but he also helped to get rid of the caste system in India. And the lowest rung of the caste system was called the untouchables. So you cannot touch this. Also playing off of the untouchables relating to the caste system and the system that, you know, just dictated where you were in life. Like you were born into a caste and that's how it stayed. And also like battling wits because obviously they're not going to literally battle because they both believe in peace. Let's all get hit. But you still cannot touch this slum dog skillionaire. First name Messiah. Rap so slum dog skillionaire playing off of the very famous movie Slum Dog Millionaire, based off of a true story about a poor Indian kid. He was a waiter and then he ended up winning. Who wants to be a millionaire? And it's about all the different points in his life that helped him to answer the questions that's just set him up like just the stars aligning perfectly to win that show and win that money. <laughs> But he's like, instead of playing millionaire, he's a skillionaire with all the skills he's got. And he was from poverty. He was from the slums as well. Gandhi himself. So about his rise as well. My childhood is being relived right now. He's dropping Street Fighter bars on us. Dalsim, man, the, the Indian fighter, and one of his signature moves was Yoga Fire, right? Yoga, f you don't normally line up yoga with fire. And the way that he does it, and the fire coming out of his hand, that is a Street Fighter shout out right there. That is amazing. I will meditate first, and then I will kill you. Slum dog skillionaire, first name Messiah. Rap so hot, I spit yoga fire. Everything you preach, I said it first. You should jot down these words, plagiarize my whole verse. Give your thoughts on the door, like this. Wow. That hurt me. So yeah, I mean, we talked about Gandhi, nonviolent protesting. King was definitely inspired by Gandhi. He definitely took a lot of his teachings and applied them to the civil rights movement within the United States. So there's that surface level of thinking like, you know, he thought of it first. He's basically plagiarizing him. But there's something deeper. And uh, this was 
published later on and revealed that in King's dissertation, because he's Dr. Martin Luther King, in his dissertation, he plagiarized some works and never gave uh, full and due credit for them. So he literally was caught plagiarizing. But obviously, we look at all the good that he did and all of that, and, and, and the bad kind of gets swept under the rug. But we got to remember that, hey, even he was human at the end of the day. But the plagiarized lines, we are just opening up that door right there. I said it first. You should jot down these words, plagiarize my whole word. And also, as I have a dream speech, um, people say, it, some people say it was plagiarized, other people say, no, it was just heavily influenced by another work that was given, uh, God, I can't remember the guy's name, he spoke at the Republican National Convention in a speech, but there's a lot of similarities, so he definitely drew from that oration and used it for his own Don't speech. Don't now, first name Messiah, rap so hot, I spit yoga fire. Mahatmid? Does Mahatmid translate over to Messiah? In Hindi, am I missing something there? Or is he just calling himself the savior of the Indian people? Slum dogs kill you now. First name Messiah. Rap so hot, I spit yoga fire. Everything you preach, I said it first. You should jot down these words, plagiarize my whole verse. Leave your thoughts on the door like the real Martin Luther. I'm not thinking you shall overcome this dude. I'm the king of civil... That's clever wordplay. Obviously, Martin Luther King Jr. Being named after his father. But the junior is in, you're just a junior compared to me. Like, sit down, son. Sit down, kid. Know your place. And the real Martin Luther <laughs> published the 95 Theses going against the indulgences of the Catholic Church when the Catholic Church was exploiting uh, the poor and basically selling them indulgences and implying that it would save them and save their souls. So Martin Luther protested and that started the Protestant Reformation. And he published the 95 Theses on the door of his local church. How you like that? So he's relating that to obviously like publishing it, jotting it on the door. All of those lines also kind of relate to the plagiarism lines as well that he dropped before. Sure, like the real Martin Luther. I'm not thinking you shall overcome this dude. I'm the king of civil rights from the city to suburbia. No shoes, no shirt, but I'm still gonna serve Make you. Make swallow your... <laughs> from the cities to suburbia. I mean, yeah, Martin Luther King affected the nation. He really did. And, uh, you know, what he fought for and what he stood for and the change that he enacted. I mean, it's he's got a day named after him for a reason. Let's put it that way. No shoes, no shirt, no service. As the infamous saying goes, Gandhi really didn't believe in material things, often didn't wear shoes often didn't wear a shirt so he's basically saying you know you got no shoes no shirt but guess what in this case it's not no service i'm going to serve you and almost it plays off of like the reverend dr martin luther serving you on this baby. right from the city to suburbia no shoes no shirt but i'm still gonna serve you make you swallow your words so you can break the fast and thank god almighty you can eat it last i admire clever wordplay when you make someone eat their words you're going to eat what you say but also literally because gandhi what was it 111 or 16 day hunger strike he did as a protest one time but he used hunger strikes that was another one of his tools that he used to protest so in this case breaking the fast breakfast bars going on basically he's making him eat his words so therefore he's breaking his own strike Follow against your him words so you can break the fast and thank god almighty you can eat it last i admire the way you broke the british power but i have a dream that one day you'll take a shower like the h in your name you <laughs> oh that's a that's more of a low-hanging fruit bar low brow but i appreciate it i have a dream as if miss i have a dream speech that we all know but in this case i have a dream that you will take a shower because again gandhi didn't you know want to embellish in the material world and things and i think showers were included in that unfortunately uh man just did not like soap probably did not smell very good broke the british power but i have a dream that one day you'll take a shower like the h in your name you ought to remain silent Ooh. your style like bread non-violent you would know about bread wordplay wordplay in this non-bread is delicious all right drop that bitch on your curry and you are just laughing all the way to the toilet you know what i'm saying so non-bread but also playing off of non-violent like the way that he would protest n-o-n versus non bread n double a n indian flat bread that is the best bar so far and the bar before that was just as good too playing off of the gandhi because we don't pronounce the h in his name gandhi no nobody says that so you better remain silent 
with your protesting when dealing with me. That was some ruthless verses from Mr. You King. You to remain silent, flatten your style like bread, non-violent. You would know about bread, Dr. Birmingham sandwich. Oh, oh, we about to have a show off. Fucking Gandhi rolling out. Got a little swagger stroll behind him. We got West Side Story going on. Style like bread, you would know about bread, Dr. Birmingham sandwich. Boy, got those grits, sit in with some spinach. With <laughs> Dr. Birmingham sandwich, Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, the protests which hit national attention and media coverage when they brought out the fire hoses and they were uh, hosing down the students and that really catapulted Dr. King and, and the civil rights movement into attention and national oh, renown. Fred, Dr. Birmingham sandwich. Boy, got those grits. Didn't he uh, publish the Birmingham letters when he was locked up in jail in Birmingham too? I think so. Fred. But also Birmingham playing off of ham sandwich. Dr. King compared to Gandhi. Gandhi's very thin. We know he fasted a lot. Dr. King, he he liked some ham sandwiches. He was he was a bit bigger, wasn't he? non You would know about Fred, Dr. Birmingham sandwich. Boy got those grits. Sit in with some spinach. With protested women the same. Get it? Boycott, sit in, sit in with some spinach, sit down, eat some greens, but also boycotting things was another way of protesting. Having sit-ins in public spaces and forums was another way to protest. Ham sandwich, boycott those grits, sit in with some spinach. With protested women, the same advice goes. Always stay away from the hole. I've got so That's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Always stay away from the hoes, hoes relating to women, but also like we just talked about, uh, getting hosed down by the police. Stay away from the hoes, H-O-S-E. Ooh. Ooh. Women, Ooh. the same advice goes. Always stay away from the hoes. <laughs> I've got so much street Oh, man. oh, oh, we definitely, we definitely have a West Side Story right now. Always stay away from the hoes. I've got so much street cred, they write my name on the side. That's it. Preach it, man. I, I love the cadence here in the diction. They should write my name on the side. It's just the passion, like, you know, mimicking Dr. King and some of his speeches. And he was very impassioned. He was a great public speaker and orator. That's just a great way to put it. And playing off of street cred, like literally he's got street credentials because look, there are streets that are named after him. Look at his name on the signs, and you want to actually check his street cred. Let's go. Got so much street cred, they write my name on the signs. <laughs> I'd bring you for tech support, but I got a Nobel Prize. Did Peel write these bars? These are these are vicious. I'm loving the wordplay. This is. This is that level I like, man. This is that gold standard right here. Talking about the Nobel Prize. Gandhi never won the Nobel Prize. Fucking Gandhi never won the Nobel Prize. Yeah. Life is funny, isn't it, people? Politics rules all. Um, Dr. King did win the Nobel Prize. But this goes even deeper, and this just made me chuckle when I first saw the lines come in uh, relating to my days working customer service and at a call center. And uh, T1, we routed that bitch out to India. Right, we were T2. So once they got pissed off because they got tired of speaking to people that uh, weren't as fluent in the English language, then they get forwarded at us and they'd be all pissed off and then we have to deal with them. Uh, but a lot of call centers uh, route through India because cheaper labor, business, econ, 101. There we go. So ringing for tech support. And get it no bell because he can't ring them because no bell's ringing. That's just, that's really good wordplay. Nigga, we got more beef than one of your sacred cows, but I'm about to forgive you so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a switch up. And listen, you hear how the beat just drops out and changes up and you got the funky distortion going on on the synth. And then they hug and I'm about to forgive you so hard because I can't, I can't fight you. So I'm kind of fighting you in a way. I'm passively, aggressively fighting you through forgiveness. Now give me a hug and let me squeeze you. I'm playing off a of beef uh, because Indians hold cows sacred. You know, driving down the road, you see a cow, you can't just keep rolling through. You're not eating hamburgers for dinner. Let's put it that way. More beef than one but playing off a of beef is in rap beef. Why did I have to explain that? I explained it because there's going to be someone like, oh, you missed that bar. Well, if you, if you follow rap at all, you would easily catch that one. So... A little upset with myself. Let's continue. Sacred cows, but I'm about to forgive you so hard right now. I am possibly resisting the fact that you suck. I am celibate because I don't give a fuck. Who won? Who's that? You decide. Uh oh. oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> that was fun, and I love how he just drops down. Uh, I'm passively resisting the fact that you suck. <laughs> so, playing off of his form of resistance, which is a passive, pacifistic resistance, but he's trying to resist the fact that he sucks with his lines. And then, obviously, the nice little punchline at the end to put a ribbon on top of that, or a condom in this case, or maybe not in this case, uh, celibate because I don't give a fuck. Because if you're celibate, you're not giving a funk. Fuck, funk? Where are my words today? And Gandhi, I'm pretty sure, was a, took a vow of celibacy himself. Yeah. Don't chastise Gandhi. Wow, that was fun. That was really good. 2013, this is one of the earlier ERBs. Very good wordplay. Very entertaining. Obviously, Key and Peele are entertainers. They're very comfortable in front of a camera. They got great personality, great camera presence. But the bars, man. The bars. I'm going to have to give it, though, to Dr. King because the Nobel one and then the... Um... Oh, come on. This is going to bother me. Why is my brain not working? Where are you? Yeah, no I'm shoes, no shirt. You shall overcome this junior. I'm the king of civil rights. From so you can break the fast. And thank God almighty you can eat at last. I admire the way you broke the British power. But I have a dream that one day you'll take a shower. Like the H in your name, you ought to remain silent. Flatten your style like bread. non The non-bread. The, I mean, I, I just want to run it back one more time. Just appreciate some of the viciousness of those bars. Because, you know, I still have a personality disorder from what he just did to him right there. And the non-bread, oh. That was that was delicious. Dr. King wins the battle. Gandhi was nice, though. Very close second. Very good bars and punchlines as well, especially that last one. ERB, you were Knoxville certified. So, if you guys like today's video, if you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other ERBs you want to see me do or if there's other artists you want to see me check out. I try to read all the comments, guys. I respond as much as I can, so please keep commenting and keep posting. Also, if for some reason you're here at the end of this video and you've listened to me rant on and pause so much, obviously you're enjoying the content. Do me a favor, guys. Support the channel directly. Subscribe and notifications on. As always, it's your reminder to stay safe, stay positive. It's Knoxville. I'll catch you again. I'm out.